Welcome to example program and in this video we will see how we can write a C++ program to check whether the number entered by the user is a prime number or a composite number. So what exactly is a prime number? A prime number is a natural number greater than 1 which is only divisible by 1 and itself. Or in other words, we can say that a prime number is a natural number greater than 1. It has only two factors. They are 1 and the number itself. For example, if you look at the number 3, then the factors of this number 3 are 1 and 3. Similarly, if you look at 7, 1 and 7. So these are prime numbers. Now, similarly, if you look at the numbers like 6, then the factors of this number 6 are 1, 2, 3 and 6. In other words, this number 6 is completely divisible by these numbers. So here, since this number 6 has the factors other than 1 and the number itself, it is not a prime number. If you have a natural number greater than 1 and if it is not a prime number, then we call that number as a composite number. Similarly, you can look at the number 10 where we have 1, 2, 5 and 10. These are the factors of this number 10. So since it has more than two factors, we can say that it is not a prime number. It is a composite number. Now here, if you look at the number one, then the factors of this number one is one. Uh, since it has only one factor, it will not satisfy the rule that we have for the prime number because for a number to be a prime number, it should have two factors and it has only one. So it is not a prime number. And it is not a composite number also. That's because for a number to be a composite number, it needs to have more than two factors. It has only one. So number one is neither prime nor composite. So let us see how we can write a C++ program to check for this. Uh, here I have already written some code. I have included the iostream header file so that we can use some basic input output operations in our program. And then I have mentioned that we will be using the features defined inside the std namespace and then we have the main function which is the entry point of our program from our perspective so the first thing that we're going to do in our program is we will declare the variables that we are going to use uh, in this program we will ask the user to enter the number that we will be checking for prime or composite so to store the user input we need a variable number and it is of type integer and then in this program, what we're going to do is we can assume that whatever the number that the user is going to enter, it is a prime number. Then we will check the number entered by the user. For example, user can enter anything as an input. He may enter minus one. He may enter zero, one or a number greater than one. If the user is going to enter zero or negative number, we will say number needs to be greater than one. If the user is going to enter the number one, then we will say one is neither prime nor composite. If the user is going to enter the number greater than one, then in our program, what we do is um, in the beginning, we assume that the number is a prime number. If the number entered by the user is greater than one, then we try to find whether the number entered by the user has a factor other than one and the number itself. If we find a factor, then we say the number is not a prime number. It is a composite number. If we don't find any factors, then we will say, okay, the number is the prime number. So here I'm going to create a Boolean variable and I'm going to call it as is prime. And I'm going to initialize this with a value of true, indicating that number is the prime number. Now, the next thing that we do is we will ask the user to enter the number. So I'm going to use the C out and I'm going to specify the message as enter the number and then we will read the number entered by the user using C in and we will store that in the number variable. Now, the next thing that we do is uh, we will check whether the user has entered the zero or a negative number and we can do that by using the if conditional statement and by checking the value stored in the number variable. We will check whether the number variable is containing a value which is less than one. So in that case, we will display a message to the user saying that number needs to be greater than one. And after that, we will check whether the user has entered the number one. So we will do that by writing the condition if 
number equal to 1 here this double equal to sign is the comparison operator in this case we will display the message as 1 is neither prime nor composite else if the user has entered a number greater than 1 then we will start to find the factors of the number entered by the user so how we can find the factors for a number so what we do is we will take the number entered by the user and we will start dividing this number from 2 why we start from 2 is we already know that the number 1 and the number itself both are the factors of whatever the number that the user is going to enter so there is no need of checking for whether 1 is a factor or not we already know that so we will start from 2 and what we do is we will check the reminder value when we divide the number entered by the user by 2 whether we get the reminder as 0 or not the reminder 0 means the number 2 divides the number entered by the user completely so 2 is the factor of the number entered by the user so in that case it means that the number entered by the user has a factor other than 1 and the number itself so it can't be a prime number so we will display the message to the user saying that the number entered by you is a composite number if we get the reminder as a non-zero value then what we do is we go to the next number and we will check the same thing what we get as a reminder when we divide the number entered by the user by 3 this time also if you get the reminder 0 then it means number is a composite number if you get the reminder as 1 then we will go to the next number and again we will do the same thing so now how long we have to continue this or up to which limit we have to continue to check for this so let's say we have the number 10 then the possible range of numbers which can be a factor of this number 10 or the possible range of numbers which can divide this number 10 completely are from 1 to 5 and we can easily say that the numbers 6 7 8 and 9 cannot be cannot divide the number 10 completely or we can say that they can't be the factors of this number 10 and of course the number 10 will divide it completely but we already know that the number itself and the number 1 are the factors of this number 10 so we don't have to check for this so the possible range of values which can be a factor of this number 10 are from 2 to 5 so here this 5 is actually the half of this number 10 so here we will continue to check for this until we reach a value which is number divided by 2 now one condition may arise here that is what if the number entered by the user is an odd number for example 11 so at that time also if the number is 11 then when we do number divided by 2 in programming this becomes integer division and uh, actual value is 5.5 .5. and since we are considering integer values it will take 5 so if you have the number 11 then the possible range of values which can divide this number 11 are from 1 to 5 because 6 can't divide this number 11 so here also this rule will uh, work so now let's see how we can uh, write the code for this so here what we do is we will start dividing the number entered by the user from 2 so we will use a for loop so that we start from 2 and uh, with every iteration we continue to the next number so i'm going to create a loop counter variable here and i'm going to call it as divisor and i'm going to initialize this variable with the value of 2 and then how long we want to continue this for loop or up to which limit we want to run checking for a number divides it or not we want to run this for loop until we reach a condition where we have value in the divisor variable is less than or equal to the number divided by 2 okay and after that we will increment the value of the divisor variable so here uh, what we do is uh, we will start dividing the number entered by the user from the value stored in the divisor variable which will start from 2 so we will check for the reminder value and to get the reminder value in C programming language we will use the modulus operator so what we do is we will perform number modulus divisor so here it means that 
uh, divide the value stored in the number variable by the value stored in the divisor variable and check whether we get the reminder as zero or not. This modulus operator returns the reminder value. If we get the reminder as zero, it means that the number entered by the user is not a prime number. So what we do is we change our flag is prime to false indicating number is not the prime number. And once we know that the number is not the prime number, we can stop this for loop here and we will add the break statement here. If we get the reminder a non-zero value here, then this if condition will fail and our for loop will go to the next number. And then again, it will check for this condition and it will uh, execute it. So once we come out of this for loop, we know that the number entered by the user is prime or not. And we can say that by checking out the value present in the is prime variable. So we will check for the is prime variables value. If is prime variable is containing true, then it means that the number entered by the user is a prime number. So we will display that to the screen. Else, it means that the number entered by the user is not a prime number. It is a composite number. And we will display that to the screen also. So we will say composite number. So now we have uh, written the program in here. Let's run this. Enter the number. I'm going to enter negative two. It says number needs to be greater than one. I'm going to run it one more time. And this time I'm going to enter one. It says one is neither prime nor composite. Run it one more time. And this time I'm going to enter two. It says two is a prime number. Run it one more time. And this time I'm going to enter six. It says six is a composite number. So this is it guys. This is how you guys can write a simple C++ program to check whether the number entered by the user is a prime number or a composite number. If you like this video, then hit the like button. If you don't like it, then hit the dislike button. If you want to say something, then write that in the comment box. For more tutorials like this, do subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. I'll see you later in the next video.